My name is Tim Harris. Again, I'm back with you here at the Center for Energy Education. And it's been a pleasure so far. But let's go in even farther in the job hazard analysis. I talked about earlier about hazards inside the solar farm. And we know that uh, there's heavy equipment. There are sharp objects that are being handled, material handling, people picking up objects and putting them back down. Things are moving. You've got a lot of traffic going on. So in construction, there is what you call the fatal four. There's the fatal four in construction, and that is falls, caught in betweens, struck bys, and electrocutions. Those are the four in all the whole country that renders and yields the most fatalities in construction. Falls is number one. So there goes again. You know, with ladders, that's one of the things that people get used to doing, climbing ladders, up and down ladders. But you know, that was a part of the number one way and reason why people get killed in construction is falling even in walking and working surfaces. People are not climbing up high, higher than six feet. And we know that in construction, generally, the OSHA standard is if you go above six feet, that you must have fall protection. And during the OSHA outreach training session, we talk about falls for a long time because and uh, it's number one in OSHA 10 and in OSHA 30, we really lay it in about falls. We want you to be aware of where you're walking, where you're stepping. On the solar farms, there is rough terrain. There's moving. And we talk, And I was talking about the ladders. You put the ladders in an uneven, on an uneven surface, you make yourself more accessible to the fall hazard. Many a times, it still happens on construction sites. Me, uh, people and employees, workers, get up on ladders, they climb on ladders, and they lean. And guess what? They fall. That leaning is one of the things you would think, okay, after the first person fell, <laughs> leaned and fell and fatally injured them, uh, themselves or seriously injured themselves, that everybody else would stop leaning when they get on ladders. But it doesn't. That's what OSHA outreach training awareness is all about. There must be a continuous awareness of the surrounding and the work environment. Um, falls is number one. We will get into that and we will talk about that for an hour and a half um, and, and longer and if, if need be. But on the work site, in a solar farms, the, when you are constructing the panels, you will, uh, workers, and they will lift those panels up. The panels don't weigh uh, over 50 pounds, but the panels do, uh, will, they are wide, and they have a wide surface area, and it will shift your momentum, and it will, sh will shift your position. That's why you got to be very aware of when you're lifting things and when you're dealing with falls in the fatal four. Called in betweens. Called in betweens can happen when you, when a, a, a heavy equipment is moving, or you standing in a position where you're not aware of in a stable object, and um, then there's many a times where people get caught in between two movement, two moving objects, and then the objects close them in, and they find themselves caught in between and, uh, and not able to move. That is one of the fatal four that cause fatalities. And you know what fatalities are? They result in death. Um, then the, then there we talk in de detail about the caught in between, the struck bys, moving objects all the time, especially on a solar farm, because uh, this can catch a lot of people un uh, unaware in a situation where they're not, uh, they can just be lax and easily become um, just lackadaisical and say, hey, I'm all right. Especially when you're doing your job, you'll take your mind off everything else that's surrounding. We got a uh, saying in, in, in construction, uh, uh, every 20 minutes you should take 20 seconds to look 20 feet around you. Hey, that sounds good, don't it? 
because there must be a constant reminder of the surrounding and the movement that's going on because it's easily the human error factor is always something that must be considered. So we talk about the struck buys, the caught in between, then we talk about electrocutions. You know, at first, when I first went, came into construction, I would think and I thought that electrocution should, was, may have been number one because every lightning bolt that came out of the sky looked like it could kill you. But electrocutions does not result in fatalities as much as you think. Because there's the difference between electrocutions and being shocked. <laughs> there's a big difference. You can be shocked and get up out of that situation and move on throughout your day. But if you're electrocuted, that ends in death. So there's a big difference. So you must be aware when dealing with electricity uh, how much you're dealing with and what the hazard uh, of, of in that construction project, what it is you rendering. When you take a solar panel out of the box, and each one of these are cells, when you take that solar panel out of the box, it begin to collect energy. That energy begin to be stored inside the panel. That's what the panels are designed for. And a lot of times when workers uh, are dealing with those panels, they forget that. And on the back of this panel, you will see that there's plug, and we call these plugs and plug and play. And if you plug those two plugs in, and there's, this happens a lot, people just not knowing. You know, workers just come on construction site doing solar for the first time. Huh, I've seen it happen, and I've had to stop them. They'll plug, the pl they'll plug those two plugs in, one a female in and one a male in. You know how it works in, 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 in universal language dealing with construction. And they plug it in, and they will, for some reason, unplug them. That within itself, dealing with electricity, and because they took the panel out of the box, the panel start collecting energy, electrical energy, and when they unplug that, what they had plugged in, they will get an arc. And that was called an arc flash. That is dangerous in, a, in, in construction. When an, when an arc flash is developed. Arc flash can produce up to 33,000 um, volts of electricity. And, and I think they tell me that the sun only produces 15,000 volts of electricity or heat. I, I, you know, I, I, I don't understand that fully, but I do know that that much electricity can kill you. That's all I need to know. The basics. And that's what we want to deal with. We want to deal with the basics. And that's what called, that's what will prompt awareness more than anything. The very basics of electricity. We don't have to uh, have our uh, uh, licensed electrician to come by and tell us, hey, don't mess with the plugs in the back. Because we'll, we'll give you the class and tell you the basics of that arc flash. That is very important. Each one of those cells. Uh, if you, for your interest, um, up, can produce up to 0.5 volts. And it, depending on the size of the panel, you, I've tested it with voltmeters on hot days in the, in the summer, and I've gotten 36 volts out of one panel. So that's without it just being out of the box. So remember that the fatal four are serious, and the fatal four can result in death. But we want you to be very aware of your surroundings on the solar farm and what you're doing at all times. So you can be on the lookout, not just for yourself, but for others that's working around you as well. So everybody can go home with all 10 and 10. Thank you.